Now, when it comes to playing poker online, sometimes it's best to do it with friends. I mean, we all want to stack our chips against any opponent we're playing, but it feels even better when it's someone we know. It also brings out that competition in all of us to prove we are the better player at the table. And right now, my recommendation would be to use Ignition Poker. You know, I've been a member here for over seven years, and this software is excellent for playing on your phone or laptop. And even though they use anonymous tables, it's not hard to know who you're playing against when you talk in the chat box in a cash game or, you know, a quick sit and go tournament. And honestly, it really isn't. And they actually allow both free and real money games on here as well. The limits range from as low as $1 all the way up to a couple thousand dollars per table. And they even have millions of dollars up for grabs and tournament prizes every month as well. All right, next I'd like to show you guys some of the software in a recent session I played. Of course, if you'd like to learn more about Ignition or grab a poker bonus for playing here, we'll have some links below in the description. Don't forget to tap that like, and let's get into some of these hands. Also, stick around to the end because we got close to $500 in this session, making some good plays, which gave us a nice 2.5x double up. Okay, so first hand here with an ace queen, I opened up to six bucks, which is standard. And I believe this guy folded it, but I'm not 100%. Let's see. Um, if you want to comment about any of the hands I'm going to be going over in this session, you know, feel free to do that as well. Usually get back to people, it takes me a day or two, but I always respond to the comments on the channel. Okay, yeah, he folded it. All right, next hand, I folded this one pretty straight up. Yeah, definitely not playing that 5 8 offsuit for sure especially in early position. I'd also say it only took me about 45 minutes. I played in this session kind of condensed, you know, which gave us, uh, you know, a nice double up. And I, I say this so often to you guys, but, you know, if you've been playing online poker for a while or maybe you're just getting into it or maybe you're just getting into it again after taking a break, you know, you got to start moving up in stakes. It's so important because... I say it a lot, but, you know, your time is valuable and you don't want to waste your time playing really low stakes and not making any money. Obviously, you're not always going to win, but you got to give yourself a chance to make some money at this because, you know, it's entertainment based, but we all want to win. And even if it doesn't happen every time we play, we at least want to show a profit for the month, you know, a good one at that. All right. Anyways, uh, next hand, we had Queens put a continuation bet in here. All right, and we took it down. You know, you hate seeing a king on the flop, but we would have had a heart on the turn, which would have been good. All right, next hand, pocket eights. Okay, so no reason to three bet this. I just flatted it, hoping to spike that eight. And of course we didn't. Okay, so at this point with the other players, really like in check fold mode here, you know, what am I trying to catch? Okay, and it was a good fold, I think. All right, on to the next one. So weirdly, we had pocket queens twice in this session. Doesn't happen uh, that often, I guess, especially when you're playing in a session for like 45 minutes. But hey, we got queens twice. Okay, so first to act, open it up to six bucks. I think two players made the call here. And it was uh, it was a good flop for queens. Um, all low cards, which is what you want to see. We got some runner-runner possibilities for flushes. You know, we could still hit a nice queen on the turn, which would be pretty awesome. Okay, anyways, I put a continuation bet in here. Kept it small. I wanted these guys to call. So... You know, it's likely everybody got a little piece of that flop, which is fine. Uh, however, we did have a king hit on the turn. You know, I decided to check this. Uh, you know, obviously you got the flusher out there as well, so I was aware of that. But, you know, thinking now for sure these guys don't have it. King on the river. Um, and I had to put some kind of value in here, and I think I bet like, well, let's see what my bet sizing was.
Now, I definitely figured that somebody would call if they've got a pair of eights here or a pair of eights. And I didn't get to see that guy's cards, but I got to believe he had a hand maybe like ace eight or ace seven, something like that makes a lot of sense. But, you know, we took it down and on to the next hand. All right, Jack nine. I got in a tough spot with this hand and this guy, uh, one of these players put some pressure on and I ended up giving it up. Or I'm sorry, I think I ended up making the call on this. Let me see. I know this was a tricky hand for sure. And, uh, you know, if you're still with me, we got the queen jack hand coming up. You guys don't want to miss it. Okay, so we hit a nine on the turn, but, you know, at the same time, third pair, we got, you know, straight draws out there. Not feeling too confident about this hand, I guess. All right, so I made the call. Deuce on the river. Okay, I ended up folding this one. I just felt like he probably slow played maybe a 10 here. Uh, but, you know, another thing too, when a player has to like think about how much they want to bet, and he he thought about it a little bit. He didn't bet too big. Uh, it looked like a value bet, honestly. So it was it was a tough one here. Yeah, and I just gave it up. All right, next hand with the king six. I just mucked this one. And yeah, we got a couple more hands here before we get into the queen jack. Okay, so they actually would have hit the king here. Not a good kicker, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so here we go with the king 10 suited. I feel like I could have played this hand much better, and you're going to see exactly what happened on this one. I think I got a little greedy with this uh, because we we are going to make we are going to hit the nuts in this one and uh you know probably should just slow played it to the max. All right, so I just made the call. Okay. So, honestly a good flop because we still have runner runner Straight possibilities, we've got one over to the board, and then we've got this second best, you know, flush. Obviously, if an ace of hearts hits on the turn, we're looking pretty good. If it's still in the deck. Okay, so I bet into this. Not too huge. Um, you know, we did hit the heart on the turn, which was good. The board paired, though. I didn't really want to see that. <laughs> okay, so we hit the ace on the river. And the way he made that call, I just kind of felt like we probably got this guy, honestly. But I just over it a little bit here on 40, and I probably should have kept it more like 20 or 25. I think he would have made the call, but... Maybe he wouldn't have, but I felt like I got a little greedy there. It is what it is. Okay, on to the final hand here with the queen jack offsuit. Like I said, this hand can be tricky. But sometimes it can work out, and that's exactly what you're going to see right here, guys. Hope you're ready for this. 
All right, so we have the three back coming in with this guy in the big blind. He bet pretty big too, 24 bucks. So he's representing a big hand, ace, king, aces, kings, possibly queens um, as well. But the flop was very spicy indeed because, you know, <laughs> we um, we have the straight draw with the 10. Uh, we have a heart. We're only losing to the king of hearts, which he doesn't have. Anyways, he played this super aggressive. We hit the heart on the turn and we got paid off big here. So this guy overplayed his hand big time. I don't know what he was thinking, but, you know, that one worked out for us. And that is how you win with the queen jack offsuit. Okay, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, like I said, feel free to comment below about any of the hands here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next poker video.